Last Sunday, our church service went a little long. Yeah. We uh, basically got together and usually rely on the Holy Spirit for everything that we do, but there definitely is a level of planning that goes on. And uh, we got to the end of our uh, second service, kind of give or take around where we normally end, and we kind of closed the service, uh, but we went on for another two hours, two hours of worship and ministry just carrying on. And so I wanted to talk about that just, just briefly. What, what was that? Uh, how did that happen? <laughs> how did we kind of work through that a little bit? So, yeah. tell me uh, how you experienced all of that. I, I mean, it really, gosh, I don't know. It's, it's Honestly, it's kind of like hard to put into words with that stuff too, it, especially, you know, from experiencing that while leading worship on stage, you know, having personal encounters with the Lord while leading worship, seeing so many people have those personal encounters with the Lord in that time, it really was just, I don't know, it, it's like, it's one of those things where you can't really put um, an expectation on how it's going to look or I, I think honestly we live in a, a time right now where there's such a stirring, not just in our church, yeah. um, but even in churches beyond, like yeah. we've been hearing stories of, you know, churches in Illinois, and California and you know, obviously the big one that exploded is in Kentucky with Asbury. Mm -hmm. And like, you're, you're seeing all these experiences of hunger and repentance. Yeah. And that leads to a place of, Lord, I'm just desperate for more of you. I feel like this past Sunday, you know, experiencing just a hunger that you can't really fabricate right. for our church. Right. Now, you know, for you, what was that like for you? Were you getting that sense kind of at the beginning of the service or is that something where you're just like, I think we just need to step back and yield to this at some point? Like, what right. is that like for you as, as the pastor? Yeah, I, I, there's, a, there's a lot of thoughts that have been going through my head, especially since we've been seeing what's been happening at Asbury and, and, and different colleges around the campus, right. uh, around the country. Um, I, I guess my overarching thought is don't try replicate. Yeah. Don't try push it. Don't try make anything happen because right. being around long enough to know when God does something in one particular area or even one particular service, right. when we try to replicate that, we're getting into that man-made stuff. Right. You know. So back back to last Sunday. I mean, yeah. The the topic that I preached on and, and felt for us to go through in our series is as Jesus the Deliverer. How Jesus wants to set us free. He wants to. He, he, one of his main ministries was was to preach the gospel, heal right. the sick, and cast out demons, like get get people to a place of, of freedom. So I did go into this service thinking there's likely going to be a response to this. Yeah. If we open the word up properly, yeah, it it will speak and it will lead people into ministry. Yeah. Um. So thinking, all right, let's leave some room for for ministry, however that looks. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of people kind of yeah. responded, and but there you were on the stage, um, kind of leading songs through through a time of ministry, and it didn't. What did, what did it feel like for you? I mean, because you've been leading worship for a long time, yeah. but it's almost like it, it got pulled out of you. Yeah. Am I am I saying that weirdly? Yeah. No, no. I mean that honestly makes sense. And what's funny is you know we're kind of in our rehearsals and stuff. Like, hey, you know, David's gonna be teaching on deliverance. This is just obviously a topic that holds a lot of spiritual weight, right. you know, when we teach about it. And when you teach about it rightly, you know, things like that, if that's such a thing. But, you know, we had said, you know, we're probably going to have extended ministry time. So let's just be prepared for that. Obviously not thinking there's going to be like two songs, two, <laughs> yeah, like two songs maybe, you know, some yeah. prayer. It's like, we're getting close service. But no, it really was, it, it brought me personally to a place of like, there was a moment where things just like switched to like, Lord, this is so not about me this is so not about what we do it's yeah. so not about the plan or the agenda or hey we're gonna have extended ministry time like it is so focused on lord i'm just i'm so in need of you yeah and so for for me to have that honor of like man i get to lead this church into worship but like what an honor it is and a privilege it is to worship the lord yeah. And to do so in a way that I, I'm blessed to teach people right. how to worship right. in, in some way. But, you know, I had a church member say this to me. Uh, one of the services was, you know, 
the worship that happens here is so vertical yeah. that it's, it's going straight yeah. upwards and it, yeah. you know feeling that in my soul of yeah. like you know what it, it is because yeah. if it's ever about me right. then i need to step off the stage or if it's ever about yeah. what we do then we need to close our doors because it, it really is such a hunger for the presence yeah. of god such a hunger for to to be in relationship with right. the lord and so that's it, it, it genuinely felt like that on uh, this past Sunday, so it is think, really impactful. Think back to even the main set of worship. Yeah. When we got to that song, Jesus Over Everything, yeah. I mean, there's there's nothing more vertical than that. Yes. And and it just seemed to be like an anchor throughout the whole yes. time of ministry. Yes. You are worthy of it all. Jesus, you are over everything. And I think that that's a key. We've got to honor God yeah. and not honor our feelings and our, our yeah. thoughts in the situation. Yeah. We, we honor God, and then, yeah. then he, in, a, in a sense, he just just poured out yeah on us tell you that the the, the greatest thing for me as as being privileged to to help lead with what's going on here is to create a space yeah where yeah we have a plan but we have it open-handed we have yeah. it open-handed for for god to minister the way he wanted to yeah we couldn't script any of this and we shouldn't script it yeah but we should script openness yes we should script openness and room for where the Lord wants to move. So, I mean, the fun thing was, I think, I mean, normally we run about, you know, 70, uh, 80 to 90 minute services, right? right? We got to like 95, maybe 100 minutes, which you're like, okay, we're going a little long. And we came up here like, all right, we're going to, we're going to close the official part of the service, but right. the worship team's probably going to play for a few more minutes. Yeah. I think we did that twice, or three times over the next two hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, hey, I think we're yeah. Really done. Yeah. 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 No, I really, especially too, like when there is that openness, I feel like there's there's a freedom then too. Of like, wow, it really doesn't fall on on us to, like, yeah, we can create a space, right. but we can't create a hunger in the hearts right. of the people that are right. here that yeah. stay. Yeah. You know, so it really, you know, obviously then honoring, you know, your discernment, honoring then like, okay, Lord, like, I'm not, like, we're not big enough to step on the plans of the Lord, but how many right. times have we found ourselves, not we as a general right, statement, right, but right. how many times have we found right. ourselves, and the Lord's moving, but I should, I really should go because I have lunch plans, or right. I really want to stay and get prayer, but I should go home and let my dog out. Like, yeah, yeah those things are important, but like, you don't want to, you don't want to miss that, that time. And not that you can fabricate it every Sunday. Right. Like right. I have, I don't think that, you know, this Sunday, maybe we go two, three hours again, right. but Right. That's not in the plan to say, all right, we're gonna we're gonna go this extended amount of time. We're gonna allot three and a half, four hours. Right. Because sometimes it's forty five minutes, sometimes it's four and a half hours. Right, right. So you really can't put a plan yeah. on that. The best thing that I think that we can do is come with some preparation, but also with that openness. Yeah. Like, all right, Lord, if you have a better plan, yeah. that's always gonna be yeah. what I want to do. That's good. So, I I think that's that's good. Like, kind of, what's next? Yeah. What's next is, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what, what what's next for us yeah. as as planning and, and leading is Lord, this is your church. Yeah. What do you want to do? What do you want to minister? Yeah. If we're gonna try and reproduce again, we're gonna get into into fabrication mode, into man made mode. If God wants to do that again, great. If He doesn't, great. Either way, He needs to be glorified. He needs to be yeah. uh, a hunger, and people needs to continue to grow. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we could talk about it. And we've been talking about it for uh, for a lot a lot already since yeah. the service. But yeah. uh, uh, let's just keep keep that hunger in our hearts growing for all that God wants to yeah. do. So what does it look like, you know, as lead pastor, you're trying to encourage, you know, this is going to be a social media as, you know, us just trying to process a little bit, also trying to encourage, like, what does that look like then for, you know, the casual observer or maybe even somebody that was present for that service? to keep that hunger yeah. like what does that look like it can you put a statement to that or to say this is what it looks like practically or is it you know, what does that look like for you yeah I, i've had the privilege of being part of different moments like this and in, yeah. in, in my my walk with the lord and um I, I think the real fruit comes from us translating something that happened at service like that yeah. into a hunger to be in the presence of God. Yes. And and that is through 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 scripture reading, through prayer, through through coming, you know, thankfully we have our, our Wednesday morning prayer time now. It, it's a place to come and, and exercise that out. We have nights of worship. It, it, it's, it's not much more to do 
and, and I think we should think of this as what else can we do? Yeah. It's, it's open this hunger up for the Lord to move at home. Yeah. In our, in our relationships, in our parenting, in our, uh, in, in everything we do, Pr- invite the Lord into that. Yeah. Stay hungry for him. Stay in his word, stay in his presence and continue to, to hold our lives open-handed before him. Yeah. I, I wish I had a better recipe, but no. I think if we, we put a recipe together, we're going to start trying to control it again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I, I, I don't, I couldn't pick out who said it, but I remember hearing this kind of phrase, especially because revival is such a big, you know, idea in, in today's culture and, and I'm so for it. Um, but I think there's so many people that are looking for a recipe for revival, right. which you can't really fabricate that. Um, but, you know, really, I think if you could boil down, not a revival, but almost this, this sense of awareness, this, this need is, you know, hunger plus repentance yeah. equals a desperation. Um, and, and I think as we're seeing, not just in this church, but in churches around the country, around the globe, there's a desperation and, and an awareness for the Lord, for his outpouring, for his peace, his joy, his yeah. kindness, his love. Um, you know, breaking chains off and yeah. addictions off. Yeah. Uh, it seems that we're in like a really cool time for the church right now. So fun. Yeah, it is fun. So fun. Yeah, it's a great time. That's it? That's it.